Hi everybody, this is Russell with Review Sentry, and I want to congratulate you on getting this awesome review platform for your clients. Now what we're going to do in this video is we're going to sh I'm going to show you real quickly how you set this up so that it shows up and works on your client's domain as a branded solution. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to log into your client's hosting account, or if you host their account, their site for them, it's very simple. If you do not have access, you can just give them simply directions or ask them to give you access. It's very easy and very quick. Now this is going to work uh, pretty much for any hosting that you have. Now I hosted HostGator, so I've already logged into my cPanel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here until I find subdomains. Okay, so I'm going to click subdomain. Now I have several accounts, several I, uh, URLs on this account, so I'm just going to pick a URL uh, that makes it very easy. So I'm just going to go to my famous GP Scraper URL and I'm going to create a subdomain. I'm going to call it Reviews. Alright, so just click that and click Create and it's going to do its thing here. So let's let it do its thing. Alright, so now we have reviews.gpscraper.com created. Alright, now we're going to go back home and we're going to scroll down until we see the advanced DNS editor. So you want to click on that and then it's going to ask you to choose a domain. Now I have a lot of domains on this shared account. So you go to the domain that you've picked uh, that you're putting the subdomain on and choose that. Uh, and it's going to load up some already made uh, DNS records. All right. So the DNS record that you want to switch is, oh, I screwed up here, guys. Hold on. You do not want to click Simple DNS Zone Editor. You want to click the Advanced. My fault. Let's go back here. Let's click on Advanced DS, DN, DNS Zone Editor. Find our domain. And then we're going to come down here, and all we're going to do is we're going to find our new subdomain right here. You don't have to worry about the www. Just find the subdomain that you just created and you want to find the A record. And the A record now automatically points to the IP address that the server, that the domain is hosted on, the server IP. So what you want to do is just click edit that. And we're going to scroll down here just a little bit more. Now when you signed up, we provided you with the IP that you need to point this to. So I'm going to copy that from another document and paste it in here and then I'm just going to click edit record and that's going to save okay so now we have reviews dot dot gp scraper dot com okay now right now that's going to be blank so how do we start branding this. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to log in now to um, the back end. Okay, uh, back end two, which is the one we're currently working on. You'll have the, the URL uh, in your welcome message. So when should you get in here, you just want to click Add Company. And this company here would be the company name for your client, so we're just going to assume that GP Scraper is our client. And here, you don't have to add an HTTP or www, just add in uh, the actual subdomain, reviews.gpscraper.com. And in this section here is the email address that you want to have negative reviews sent to. So this would probably be like the business owner or a person in the company for your client that handles reviews. So right now I'm just going to put in here notifications at gpscraper.com. Okay. Now here you can add as many emails as you want. So if you have a client that has 10 locations all over the city, then you can add um, an email for each manager and then the email for the owner of the company or if there's anybody else in the company. So basically everybody all the way up the line to the top notch, top top dog guy can know when there was a negative review posted. Alright, so now we're going to start branding. 
So here's where you can upload a header. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to my documents and we're going to go to and find a header. So I'm going to use um, an image from uh, GP Scraper sales page. So I'm going to open that. All right. Now for a background, I'm going to use the background image. All right. Now here is where you can embed uh, your landing page video. Now I don't have that. Actually, don't have that handy. Let's just go ahead and go to YouTube.com forward slash GP Scraper and we're going to stop that video. It's pretty loud. And we we'll, let's just use this video. So I'm going to I'm going to scroll down and get the code for this video real quick. So all you have to do is share, embed, and here you can also pick the size that you want the video to be and or custom size. So let's just grab this code by copy, right click copy. We're going to come over here and we're going to paste this in and let's say we want to align everything center so I forgot to do that so we're going to go back up in here and we're going to align this to center okay and we're going to align this video to center and then also you can have whatever welcome text or uh, instructions you want in this section and it will appear right under your video. This is a full-fledged WYSIGI editor, so you can actually uh, copy and paste in some pre-done HTML if you want to, just by clicking on the HTML button. You can just copy and paste that in there. Uh, you can choose your fonts that you want. So let's just go with Veranda, make the font a little bit bigger. Uh, let's maybe Let's just make this like this. Correct my spelling. All right. So now let's just assume that we also have a video already for the negative review page. So I'm just going to copy and paste the uh, the other the code from the landing page video, and let's just copy and paste this in here, and make that all. This would be for the negative review and I'm just going to copy and paste it in here again for the positive review and I'm going to come and get this code here now respectfully these would be there would be a three different videos one for your landing page one for your negative review page and one for the positive review page each with a message that's custom for that particular page now you can add images in here you can add uh, hyperlink images anything that you want you can make it look the way you want now here is um, where you're going to add in your customers profiles so you'll use Yelp and then what I suggest that you do and let's just show you this real quick is go to your clients uh, re uh, profile on Yelp, Superpages, Kudzu let's just assume that Carol, Leo Carroll Jewelers is going to be the um, client for this. So what you need to do here is you can just actually right click on the review button and copy the link location and then come over here and just paste that right in here and that will be the actual guarantee that they actually land on your clients profile page. Okay. Also we have um, the coupons so what you need to do is create a coupon uh, you can create different coupons for the negative reviewer and a different coupon for the positive reviewer and uh, you can also use a coupon that uh, for an image that protects it's a reveal hidden it hides the coupon until they do a certain uh, thing and I'll show you exactly how that works now here's where you can use um, the uh, staff for your clients so let's just say we have uh, a staff name by the name of Eve so let's browse and find um, some pictures for the staff so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna look for some pictures uh,
let's just say this is Eve right here and we're going to op open that up and you can add more let's add another staff member let's add uh, let's add me all right so we're going to browse and look for a picture of me and I think my pictures are over here so here's a picture of me yay and let's just add one more oops uh, add one more and we'll call this uh, I don't know let's call our Second Amendment Amanda. Now, I'm a constitutionalist. Uh, so let's come over here and we'll find these pictures. A uh, picture of her. Uh, she's the girl that I have a picture of that likes to carry a handgun. So anyway, just a little humor there. So we've added our staff. And now here's a very important part because we're going to funnel our negative reviews straight to our client and our positive reviews to our online profiles. So we're going to choose the total number of stars that we're going to be rated by. So we're going to choose five. And then we're going to choose the threshold that's going to decide where the review goes. So any review, to, any review from one, two, or three will go as a negative review. And anything that's above three, four, in this case, four or five, will be a positive review. And we can also choose the size of the stars that we're going to display. And then we also ask for name and email address, but you can also add some custom fields if you want. All right, so what we're going to do is save this. And now that we have that open, we can actually go and look at the rating page from right here. And oh, I forgot to align the stars. So the, uh, the, the stars can be, you can align the stars so that they're all in line. And this would be um, exactly what we would see on the subdomain that I just created at reviews.gpscraper.com. Now, so here's what happens. If they choose the one star, they're going to get the video. They're going to get whatever text that you want. Um, you're going to ask them to type in their comments. You're going to ask them to choose, uh, Lex, I guess the Second Amendment Amendment's name is too long. <laughs> it's a pretty long name. We'll have to adjust that. Uh, you ask them to choose which employee helped them, and then they enter their name and email, and they submit the review, and then their next window, they'll get a copy, they'll get a coupon with a link to download. All right, now if they go to and give you a positive review, and here's the treasure chest I was telling you about. This is the coupon lock image. You can choose a different image in your back end. Uh, what they're going to do here is they're going to click on here and go to Yelp, and that'll open a new window, and it'll also reveal the coupon. And then when they come back, they can enter their name and email if they wish as well. And that's it. Save it, and they're done. And that's how it works. So if you have any questions, just let us know. But it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward, and everything is customizable here in the back office. All right. Thank you very much.